Hi everyone! Welcome to Acutely Amanda. I'm Amanda. I'm on a decluttering, de-stashing, low-buy, urban gardening, and more journey. And today, I'm decluttering my commuter bag. What's my commuter bag, you ask? Well, I live in an urban area, and when I used to go to the office, I took public transit. So my commuter bag is basically everything that you might normally keep in your car slash plus purse. Uh, this was what I had with me for everything. So I got sent to work remotely in March of 2020 and I have not cleaned this bag out since then. Uh, I've just left it untouched. The only thing I did was when I did resign from my position, I took my work ID out of the bag. So let's see what's inside this, shall we? Okay, so Let's start with the front pocket. Now I will say there's two pins on this. One of those is a little cartoon punk guy. And one of them is Skeletor saying live, laugh, love. Those are saying on that. I like, I like how they look on this bag. So what's in the front pocket? Very old hand sanitizer. <laughs> when did this expire? Oh, February of 2020. That did me a lot of good when I was using it. So that's that's a declutter. Uh, this, the, the other thing in this is my commuter pass that I used to get every month. I actually might keep this for uh, for sentimental reasons because it's labeled March 2020. Let me see if I can show this to you. March 2020. I guess I'll keep that for sentimental reasons, although it doesn't need to live in this bag. All right, that's it for the front pocket. All right. This is how I used to take my laptop to and from the office. This is still a nice case for whenever I might need to take my laptop with me. So I'm going to keep it. I don't know if I'll keep it in this bag, though. So this is a keep. I don't know if I'm going to keep it in this bag. This is my notebook that I used to uh, write fiction writing in on my lunch breaks. So I am definitely going to keep this, but I've got to read through it and see if any of this is any good for... Uh, for publishing because I do actually write and publish uh, relatively regularly so this is a keep but I've got to look through it. A Ziploc bag. can get rid of that. My Kindle case. I gotta keep this but I don't, I don't use it very often anymore because I don't usually actually take my Kindle out of the house. Usually if I'm taking a book out of the house now I take a paper book and not my Kindle because it has some damage on it and it's not easy to clean without, without I worry about damaging the electronics inside. So I'm going to keep this. It's cute, but I don't use it very often. What is inside this little notebook? This is work info. I think yeah, this, <laughs> I didn't, when I, when I went home from the office, I thought I was going back and I didn't actually take my regular notebook, which you'll see in a minute, with me. So this was how I kept track of work stuff at home until I was allowed to go back in and get my real notebook. So I, I might scan in a page or two of this for sentimental reasons and then get rid of the rest. So I'm going to put it to the side with that old transit pass. Huh. This was my open enrollment information for one of the years, so just that can just be gotten rid of. These were batteries that I was going to recycle at the office, so I'm just going to get rid of those. My pen so I could write in my notebooks. I, that just needs to be put in a different place, so that's going to go in the different place pile. Ah, my actual work notebook. So just like the other notebook, I'm just going to check and see if there's anything I want to scan in for sentimental reasons. It's actually almost full, very close to being full, so I don't need to keep it to like you see blank pages. All right, a reusable bag, another reusable bag, another reusable bag. I used to do all my grocery shopping on my lunch break, you know, the ones when I wasn't writing on. So. This tiny reusable bag is really cute. And then I've had this one for a very long time. This canvas bag. And I have to admit, I have, ooh, it is an 
very stained. <laughs> Not that the stains really mean anything, but uh, ooh, I don't know about this one. It definitely needs to be cleaned. I, I think I will probably wash this and then I have two reusable bags I've been using regularly for grocery shopping. I'll see if this is better or worse than those. I feel like it's worse, so I'm probably just going to donate it. So that's going to go in my clean and donate pile. This one, though, this is a nice one. This is a little baguito. What's this turn into? Oh, yeah, yeah. This, yeah, this is a nice one. So I, uh, I actually recently, my little one that you can like hang on your wrist like this, recently died to death. So I was wanting one of, like this. So this is going to be a keep, but just in a different location. that and I keep a different location pile. This one's also really cute but I genuinely don't know what I would do with one this little. Although it might fit in my fanny pack that I wear a lot so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that. All right. It's in this. Band-aids, extra hair ties, a little bit of medicine. This is all not bad stuff, it just needs to be, again, in a different place. So, I'm going to put that in a different place pile. Oh, a couple of tea bags. Are these expired? I'm going to hazard a guess if they are. Just get rid of those. All right. And the meds that I have in there, I already know, don't expire um, because I, I use them a lot. So, uh, those are good. And then... This is nice. I'm just going to keep this with this bag. A couple of the tampons. Those can just go in another location. Okay. okay. Oh, my reusable straws. They're glass. They come with their own. This one is for bubble tea because I used to get like a bubble tea once a week. And then this one is just a regular straw. If it will ever come out. But it's really cute. It has this little pop print on it. I really like this company. This is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. I bought these many years ago direct from the company myself. It's called Drinking Straws Glass. I really like them. They've held up really well. They don't need to live in this bag, though. That's another different place item. What is this? Oh, some sink. These expired. I can't even... Uh, the expiration wore off. I'm going to assume they probably are, and I've got a brand new bottle, so I'm just going to get rid of those. All right. There's one more pocket to go through. It's on the front. It flips over the top like that. Let's see. <laughs> What's in this? So, um, funnily enough, before the pandemic, I actually wore face masks on public transit um, because... For a while, I, my doctor had told me it was very important I not catch any colds or flus for a particular winter. Uh, so I did some research and decided wearing a face mask on public transit would be good. So uh, this is my extra filters and extra tissues. This one looks gross, so I'm just going to get rid of it. From the face mask that I used to wear every, wear in the cold and flu season on public transit. These are perfectly fine filters, so I'm just going to... I can keep them but in a different place. And more hand sanitizer. This one. This one expired also. I need to check and see if that hand sanitizer can expire. I, I feel like it's rubbing alcohol and it, it should or it's alcohol, not exactly the same as rubbing alcohol. I feel like it shouldn't be able to expire. But I'm gonna check into that and see if that's a real thing. Another tampon. Needs to go someplace else. Oh, this is stuck on. All right, and another pen that I'll just need to check and see if it can still write before I put it with the rest of my pens. And that's that's it. So now, oh, yep, this is just a slot for putting your laptop in. Why did I have both the laptop carrier in this slot? Because I bought the laptop carrier before I bought this bag, um, and. I don't know why I had it in this bag, but it's anyway. So now this bag is all set to be put away. It's a nice 
bag. It's perfectly sized for taking quite a bit of stuff with you on public transit. So I'm going to be keeping it for that, but it doesn't need to be. It was in, um, Fly Lady calls it your hot spot. So like where your quickly grab items are in your home. This doesn't need to be there because I don't commute anymore. So I can just put it away now that it is cleaned out. So that's it for decluttering this bag. Thank you for watching. I would tell you what is coming next, but I haven't selected yet what I'm going to declutter next, so it'll be a surprise for me as well. It might be a gardening thing, but I suspect it will be a decluttering thing. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!